fonts. The International Federation of Orthopedic Manipulative Therapists has an iPhone framework, which can be very helpful with regard to guiding you through the clinical reasoning process and then also through the physical examination. And then basically they have got the four components of the physical examinations. That's the neurological examination. So the peripheral nerves and the cranial nerves, uh, um, consideration of coordination and gait, uh, blood pressure measurement, and auscultation. And what is important is that one of the other questions I always ask is, is, is what kind of physical tests do you use in your physical examination to rule out a vascular uh, pathology of blood flow limitation? And, and, and 80% of the people always uh, then use the vertebral breastular insufficiency test, so the VBI test, the positional testing of the cervical uh, spine. And previously, those test tests were also uh, included in the iPhone framework. Uh, but well, I think in 2012 or so, we published an article about the diagnostic accuracy of those VBI tests. And the sensitivity was very low. So that m means that we have many false negative uh, uh, tests. And what is the problem with a false negative test? That the test is negative, but people can still have an underlying vascular problem. So you think you're safe, the test is negative, you treat that person, but basically you put that person at, at risk. So that's the first thing that, that the, based on that di the sensitivity of that test, the VBI test, we, we cannot recommend that test anymore. 